What's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303, finally coming at you with a performance review for the Nike Zoom Soldier 3s. Uh, I apologize that it took so long, I've been really busy. Um, I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. So um, stay tuned and uh, I'll keep doing these, uh, these reviews for you. Gonna start off with the bottom of the shoe here. The traction pattern on these is perfect. Um, I actually really like them. I'm gonna compare them real quick to the uh, seven post seasons, um, but you can see here that the that the, uh, the herringbone pattern is much much larger based um, as far as the grooves the grooves here. Um, they're much much wider on on the um, soldier threes, and uh, both both of these actually have really great traction. So it doesn't matter if it's the thinner or the wider. But um, the thing that I do like the best about the soldiers is that it goes in a circular motion. So um, you can see here that the middle traction is straight up and down and then your side tractions are left and right so um, it doesn't matter what direction you are going in um, starting or stopping you're going to get optimum traction in in the base of the shoe um, going up to the midsole area you have a uh, pylon midsole um, last pretty pretty long these lasted me all summer last year and um, they stayed comfortable throughout the entire the, the entire summer season um, the solid rubber outsole here is really durable. Um, I use these only for outdoors and the traction on them is still almost perfect. So um, the longevity of this product is actually really, really nice. And um, in the heel and in the forefoot here, right here and right there, you have two zoom bags. So you have heel and forefoot zoom air cushioning. Um, my personal favorite. So uh, if you guys like Zoom Air cushioning, then go for it. That's pretty much why I picked these up because I didn't like the um, I don't like playing in the Air Max bag. So I like that they changed that out for the post seasons to Zoom Air. Um, now onto the upper here, um, the toe cap. This is my very favorite part of the shoe. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why I like the Jordan 2010 so much is that it's an independent toe cap. Um, this uh, was first featured on this shoe. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm almost 100% uh, correct on that. So um, one thing that uh, the 2010s um, upgraded upon the independent toe feature is that um, the entire piece was independent. Whereas with these here, um, the independent portion is just kind of sewed onto the rest of the upper there. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a good shot of that, but. Um, it's basically stitched in right where you can stick your finger into um, the, the 2010s you can stick your entire hand inside and you will go all the way until you touch the toe so um, you know that's that's pretty nice um, on this particular pair they have the um, uh, patent leather on the toe box here it's it's pretty durable especially for outdoors um, they actually use a really nice patent leather on these whereas the patent leather on these pretty much sucks so um, I'll do the performance re review on the uh, on the so uh, Zoom, man, I don't even know what they're called right now, the post seasons, um, but I'll do the performance review on those later on and um, ho hopefully before like two or three weeks because I know people have been asking me about this shoe in particular and I've just been extremely busy. Um, but anyways, so uh, you have your um, uh, leather sidewall here and it wraps around the, the bottom of the, the midfoot. Um, it's all the way all the way across and uh, this gives you great support so um, the Jordan 11s for example had the same type of uh, look I guess um, but right in this section only and so these guys here they, they wrap it around your midfoot around your heel and your collar and then they also do it at the very top of the eyelets where you you hopefully tie up your laces all the way um, and that really gives it a great uh, wraparound feel and um, it's much more durable than using almost any other material um, such as this uh, ballistic kind of mesh here um, with the exception of a fly wire. Uh, fly wire is extremely durable. So that's that and then you have your um, midfoot straps. Um, it really only needs this bottom one. Uh, this top one doesn't do too much. If they would have moved this up and just had one just like the Soldier 4s, um, that's all that would be necessary. So. Um, you know, but there, there is two. Uh, the, the main thing that I use it for is to keep my laces covered up so that they're not like, you know, dangling around and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, tripping on them and stuff like that. They do have um, stitching on them to make them stronger. So when you pull it out, you know, with the wear and tear of uh, using these straps, it, it, does, it does make them stronger, which is nice. 
Um, the interior interior lining, um, it's just a it's just a basic material, but it is pretty padded on the inside, um, which is nice. The more you wear it, the more it kind of forms to your foot and your, your ankle cup. Um, it doesn't have the best ankle stability, so I guess that's where this top strap would come in, um, although it's at an angle here, uh, so it, it doesn't do a perfect job. Um, and that's that's pretty much it with this shoe. It's, it's pretty basic. I'm, I'm quite surprised, especially with some of the stuff that they've been cooking um, lately. You know, uh, Nike's very innovative with their, their performance technology, and, and this is a fairly basic shoe. Um, the price point, which I bought it at, was I think 109 plus tax. Um, you can get them still anywhere from eBay to, um, I've seen them at certain outlets, um, but I, I don't know if they're still there. And then East Bay and Finish Line still has a few in the team colorways. Um, the team version doesn't have the Dunkman logo here. They have a little basketball patch uh, with like a shield on it. So if you see that, don't get thrown off. They're still the same shoe. Um, it'll still have the LeBron James logo, uh, or the current logo for now. And um, you know, the two and the three here, and then the, the swoosh pattern, and then see right here it has, uh, what does that say? It just says, uh, it has LeBron James signature, and it says signature collection underneath there. Um, and then you got this stupid ass lion. Uh, I really hate this logo. Um, it makes the shoe look retarded and like a kid's shoe. So um, that's the performance review on these. I, I, out of 10, I'd give them a solid nine, maybe even a nine and a half, especially for outdoors. Durability is great. So go pick these up. Thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, so like I was saying, I'm going to get to uh, the LeBron 7 postseason review, uh, hopefully pretty soon. Um, but um, like I was saying, I've been very busy with work. Um, I had uh, recently um, just started working for a website called sneakerfiles.com. I'm going to put the link somewhere down here um, uh, at, the, at the bottom of the video. And uh, basically what I do there is, um, uh, just like every other sneaker website, I find uh, through, through, through sources, I find what's coming out and um, hopefully what the prices are and the release dates and things like that, as many pictures as I can. Um, I will put them up on the website and I'll write a short article about it, um, giving you uh, basic info and uh, details as far as um, you know what the materials are, the cushioning systems, um, traction patterns, and all that kind of good stuff. So if you guys like my videos, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like the way that I write on sneaker files. Um, I wanted to you know just let you guys know that that's, that's uh, something that, that's been occupying my time for, for quite a bit uh, recently. And um, I'm really excited to be working with a, a website uh, such as this, um, where I could you know, talk about shoes and stuff like that, um, as well as do these videos for you guys. So you know, I appreciate all my subscribers, all my viewers. Um, you know, rate, comment, like, whatever. Um, talk amongst yourselves about certain things down here. And uh, make sure that you check out sneakerfiles.com. You can leave comments on, on the posts that we thread up there, and um, you guys can you know have discussions on the forums and stuff. So make sure you check it out, uh, sneakerfiles.com. I work for them now, and I do uh, you know sneaker writing on the on the articles over there. So really excited. Um, you know if you guys like what I do here, please go to sneakerfiles.com. Check out what I do there. I'm not the only writer, by the way, but hopefully you'll be able to tell that it's me just because of my sarcasm and and sometimes I, I even bash JB on on there at Jordan Brand, so um, you know I, I can't help it. Um, if they put out crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. But anyways, that's what I do right now, and I'm, I'm really stoked to be doing it. It's a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a good weekend. Later.